afternoon. Today, we are looking at Mark chapter 14, 1 through 11. Jesus was meeting in the house of Simon the leper. Now, and, and that means either Simon had previously had leprosy or he presently did have leprosy. Now, leprosy is contagious. It's a flesh-eating disease. And I know right now, uh, you know, we're concerned about the coronavirus. But back then, in biblical times, they were horrified with getting leprosy. If anyone was spotted with leprosy, you're supposed to point at them and yell, unclean. Now, we don't know Simon very well, but we do know he must have got used to this, which must have made him feel like he was an outcast, like he was a reject. Then walks in this woman. Now you have to understand, in the times of Jesus, women were not considered important, they were not considered equal. At the least, men could consider them maybe servants. But this woman is holding a very expensive alabaster jar in her hands. Now in today's economy, we think it was somewhere between ten dollars to $15,000 worth of perfume. And this is her everything. I mean, her inheritance, her savings, everything she has. And she takes it and slaps it and breaks it over Jesus' head. The disciples were indignant and they rebuked her harshly. They said, hey, this, this perfume could have been sold or it could have been given to the poor. And Jesus says, well, hold on. I've been telling you guys forever that I'm going to be crucified and I'm going to be buried. And you've done nothing. But this woman has done what she could and anointed me for burial. In fact, Jesus says, Whenever the gospel is preached throughout the whole world, what she has done will also be told in memory of her. During Jesus' time on earth, he boldly ignored cultural norms. He gave credit to, and honor to women. He kept company with lepers. He dined with sinners and he always was kind and he was compassionate to the weak. So here are the takeaways today towards people who are on the outside, like this leper, and even though we're in a season where we are quarantined with the coronavirus, here's my question. How can you reach out and love the outsiders? As we reflect on this woman who gave everything she had in this costly perfume, here's my question right now. How are you holding back from God? Right now, whatever area, how are you holding back? And share this video and invite other people to join us in our journey right now through our Holy Week as we make our way all the way to the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Join us tomorrow at 2 o'clock as we take our next step in this journey and we look at the Last Supper.